today. You know, I always have equipment, but I always tell you guys, you don't have to use equipment. You can use body weight instead. Um, so your choice, you uh, bands today, dumbbells today. We're going overhead. So if you grab your dumbbells, maybe uh, two pairs of dumbbells if you had it, or um, you can use cans of soup. You can use, uh, oh, I can take this off, actually. I can take this off. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, and a Pilates strap. But of course, I don't use Pilates strap. I just use a belt that's hooked together. So um, your choice, you can, wear, um, pair, you can wear a pair of nylons. You can also use a pair of nylons, too. <laughs> I don't think you want to wear nylons while you're exercising. Um, <laughs> but you can also use a pair of nylons or you can use tube socks. So lots of choices. This is just for the stretch at the end. Again, you don't have to use anything if you don't want to, but you do need a sturdy chair today to hold on to um, or a couch or a counter, whatever is very sturdy and not going to move on you. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna put my timer on and we are gonna be ready to rock and roll. All right, let's get started. March it out. Make sure you have some water um, because hydration is important, right? So let's start with posture, shoulders back and down, draw the belly button in. Contract those abs, very important because it supports your spine. Shoulders in your back pocket, and let's lift it up. We're gonna warm up those muscles. Woo! I can't feel that. So, oh, we're toe tapping, sorry. Oh, it's kicking, we're supposed to toe tap. All right, give me four more, four. Toe tap, three, swing those arms, two. And one, bring it to a kick, go, kick it out. Open up that chest, keep it open, don't cave in. And think about that breath. We got four more, four, three, two, and one. Bring it knee, knee in, knee in, knee in, come on. Contract those abs. This is where you're practicing your form. So you have good form the whole session. Two more. One more. Punch it out. Punch it out. Go. Draw that belly button in. Contract those abs. Changing direction is very important on that spine, but make sure you're not twisting. Two more. One more. Lift it um, up, sorry, wide knee, wide knee. Open that chest, contract those abs, pull in, draw that belly button in every time. Those hands come in, two more. One more, we're gonna slow it down and turn. Bring it in, back to center, bring it out, bring it in, so pivot. Pivot on that foot. I hope that pivoting does not put pressure on that knee. That's why we pivot, because we wanna protect those knees. Give me two more. Open up that chest. One more. Back to toe taps. Ready, go. Tap it out. Tap it out, swing those arms. We're gonna do count of eight again. Four, three, two, and one. Kick it out, go, heel, heel, heel. I sound like I'm walking my dog. Four more, four, push through it. Three, push through it. Two, and one, wide knee, or sorry, pull in those knees, pull in those knees. Six more, hop, 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 four more, three, two, one, punch it out, go, hop, hop, there you go, contract those abs, side obliques are engaged, come on, four, three, two, one, wide knee, go, up, 
Oh. Oh. Blow it out. Every time, blow it out. Contract those abs. Four more. We're warming up those muscles so you go as slow or as fast as you need to. Two more. One more. Turn it slow. Bring it out and in and out and in. Out and in. Blood is flowing, right? We're warming up those muscles. We're going to go down to fours this time. So instead of an eight count, we're going to go to a four count. So we got four more, four, and in. Blow it out, take that breath, blow it out. Take that breath, blow it out. What do we got? Two more, come on, open that chest, wide arms. Last one, count of four, toe taps, when you're ready, go. Four, three, two, Kick it out. Go. Kick. Hup. 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 One more. Bring that knee in on a four count now. So we're switching earlier. Give me two more. One more. Punch it out. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it wide. Four. Four. Woo! Three, two, and one. Big. Open. 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 It's a little slow. It's more like a two count, right? We're going fours. We got two more sets or two more reps. Woo! Open. Pivot on that foot. Last one. Back to fours again. Toe taps. Last set, four, three, two, get ready for that kick, go, four, three, two, one, back to knee, go, on, oh. on, oh. two more, one more, punch it out, ho, 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 there you go. Hook, 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 and lift. Bring it wide, bring it wide, bring it wide. Two more. One more. And slow it down big and out, and big and out. So wide feet, right? We got two more, one more. Woo! Let's go for posterity, right? We'll do one extra and jog it out. Nicely done. All right, open it up, bring it up, and bring it down. Bring it up and bring it down. One more, and then we're gonna go to my favorites. Bring those hands on those quads, and then hinge at the hip, draw that belly button in. Hinging flat back down, roll up, one vertebrae at a time, roll those shoulders. So yesterday we did cardio, so we did a lot of what we just did, but we, we kind of made it a little more intense and kept going with it. It was a good workout. Roll up, one vertebrae at a time, roll those shoulders. This time you're going to round down and reach for the floor. Round that back. We gotta prime that back, right? Woo, wiggle those fingers and then roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders. Nice. Grab some water if you want to. And you are gonna grab um, your weights or water bottles filled with sand or water, whatever you got, right? The cat, maybe. <laughs> my cat's going to miss me today. She's going to be like, wait a minute, where's mama? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shoulders back and down. Remember, grab those feet. Like you are literally like screwing those feet into the floor, right? They are rock solid. You're going to feel it on the inside of the thigh. It's 
like you've got a yoga mat that you're standing on and you're squeezing, wrinkling that yoga mat. That's where I want you because the booty now is engaged and um, the inner thigh is engaged. All right, we're gonna do regular old fashioned bicep curls. Nice, breathe through it. You got, all right, we're gonna start with the count. So we got some extra there. You're gonna go four, three, two, and then we're gonna go into a lunge. Ready for that lunge. Bring it forward with that left foot and in forward and and there you go push off that heel and squeeze that glute that's gonna help that right or left knee right so you want to make sure you protect those knees you got one more and you're gonna switch so left and in and left or oh, sorry right my bad. I don't know my right and left today. I'm looking at myself today more. Usually I can't see myself. <laughs> you guys look way better than me. Last one. And we're going to go back to eight, seven, right? Six, squeeze the butt, draw the belly button in, five more, four, three, Two, now we're gonna go back. And one, so you're gonna lunge back. Go back, in it, and back, in it, and back. And then there you go, you got two more. One more, switch it up. So switch those legs, go back, woo, and in. Flexibility in that ankle. Be gentle with yourself, squeeze that glute. You really wanna protect those knees. Two more, one more, and relax it out. Okay, so we're gonna add a little to this one. So relax those, don't over grip the dumbbells, right? That's bad for your arthritis. Okay, shoulders down, draw the belly button in. Set yourself up. We're gonna add a pulse. So regular old biceps. Don't lock your knees. Really relax those knees, soft knees. Draw that belly button in towards your spine. Engage the core. Two more. One more. All right, left foot first, go. Woo, and we're gonna add a pulse. So four, three, two and one get ready for it stay here four three two and one go again four three two and one that was fun let's switch legs go four three two and one pulse it out four, three, two, one, one, two, three, and four. Push it through that heel, right? Bring it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it back for four three squeeze that glute you know i'm talking to you right two and one pulse it out four three two one one two three and four Woo! Four, four. Oh no sorry 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 go back four switching those legs three two and one, pulse it out for four, three, two, one. Press through that heel, two, three, and four. Bring it in, roll those shoulders. We got one more set of this with the pulse. Are we ready? Shoulders back and down, set yourself up. Grab some water if you want to. Dumbbells, 
release that grip a little bit. Ready? Forward, go. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm getting all messed up. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now left forward, go. Four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out for four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. You push in through that heel. Other side, go. Four, push through it. Three, push through it. Two, and one. Pulse it out for four, three, two, one, one, two, three, and four. Bring it in. Oh, backwards. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out for four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Switch it out and four. Bring it in. Three, bring it in. Two, woo. One, pulse it out. Four, four, three, two. Push through that heel. Two, three, four. Woo! Shake, 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 shake. Shake that leg. Feel good? I hope you felt that in your arms and your legs. That was full body. Okay. Overhead press, let's go. Grab some water if you need to. Tap out when you need to. You can do these in a chair, right? You just don't do the leg portion. So no excuses, everybody can do this. <laughs> With or without dumbbells, overhead. Bring it up and down. I'm gonna go back a little bit, there you go. And down, draw the belly button in, squeeze those abs. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Go overhead. So you're going to go overhead press. Draw the belly button in. Toes are forward. Bring it up. Three more. Two more. One more. Nicely done. Relax it out. Bring those toes out. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze the butt. Bring, open up the chest and go for four. Three. So make sure you're not feeling this in the back. Don't go so low. Last one. Good job. Bring it in. Draw the belly button in. Squeeze those glutes. Now we're going to go for that pulse. We're going to add a pulse. So you got eight of these, six more, six. We're at the top of the set, five. Unlock those knees and don't over arch your back. You got this. Three more, three, two. Open up those hands. One. Now toes forward, hip width apart. Draw the belly button in and Four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out for four, three, two, one, one, two, get low, three, and four. Toes out, draw the belly button in for four, three, two, and one, I was thinking I was supposed to go down, go. Four, this is what I was supposed to do. Three, I'll have it. Two, you just got an extra set. And one, pulse it out for four, three, two, one, chest open, one, two, three, four. Bring it in, draw the belly button in. Contract those abs, we got one more set of this, come on. 
shoulders back and down, draw that belly button in, contract those abs for eight, seven, unlock those knees, five, four, three, we got a lot of cone today too, and one, draw the belly button in, squeeze those glutes hip width apart, go, four, three, two, one, get low, four, three, two, one, <laughs> one, two, three, four, bring it up, draw the belly button in, contract those abs, toes out, sumo, prisoner style, open that chest, three, two, one, bring it down and up for four, Three, watch the neck, relax the neck. Two more. One more, give me that pulse, go. Four, three, wide chest, two and one. One, two, three and four. Nicely done. Relax it out. We have our triceps to do. They're like, wait a minute, what about us back here? I forget ya, triceps. And we are on time, Woohoo! Try the belly button in. Squeeze the glute. Put your right foot back. Ooh. Draw the belly button in. That's really important. And hinge. So you're here. This is the hard part right here, right? You're kind of pulling in towards each other. So make sure you're pivoting at the elbow. Capiche, right? I see how I'm not stopping or I'm not moving my elbows. They're right there. All right, give me four, three, two, and one. Switch it out, draw the belly button in. Squeeze that, if you got your left foot back, squeeze the left butt cheek, okay? And eight, seven, six, squeeze in, squeeze in, right here, squeeze in, there you go. Four, three, hinging, a little more maybe, two, and one, pulse it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax it out. Woo! Second set, are we ready? Hinge at the hip, bring that right foot back, squeeze that right butt cheek, really important. Ready for eight, seven, six, pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in, right here, right here, yeah. They're like magnets and they're pulling in. That's where you feel it on the back of the arm. Give me three more, come on, three, two, and one, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, relax out. Woo, shake, shake, shake. All right, make sure you're not putting stress on the neck, right? If you feel on the neck, you're like this. Use your triceps. They're not gonna wanna get used, but make sure you use them. That back heel is up, right? If you're on the um, chair, you're holding onto the chair and you're just using one dumbbell, okay? Squeeze the glutes, left glute, extend and in. Remember, my elbows are just pinned there. Pin those elbows. This is the work right here. So kind of hold it there for a second. Hold it there for a second. They're like magnets and they're pulling in towards each other. I think we got four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out. Can everybody see me? It looks like it's on Barbara instead of me. Are we good? You can see, okay, cool. All right, I'm just making sure. All right, <laughs> good job, you guys. Relax it out, relax it out. That was the last of the dumbbells. Yay, so you can put the dumbbells away. This time you are going to 
Grab a band if you want. Grab some water if you want. Did we do three sets? I feel like I only did two sets of that. Um, <laughs> all right, your band. Oh, we're right on time, good. Um, so your choice, you can, I'm gonna grab a chair. You can do this next to a wall or chair or counter, but you need something to hold on to. Something sturdy. This probably isn't as sturdy as what you should have. Um, you're going to take one foot. And if you don't have a band, you're just using your body weight, which is a lot. So um, that's hard too. You don't have to use the resistance. So you're standing on the band and where you stand on the band makes a difference. Um, so just play around with it. So you, when you're standing, you're going to unlock your knee. I'm on my left. So if you have your left, I'm actually on my right, but you'd be on your left. You're going to draw the belly button in. Unlock that knee. It's super important. Don't lock it up. That's bad, bad, bad. All right. Draw the belly button in and bring it out and in. Out and in. Pull away. If you're using your body weight, lift with your glute, right? Lift with your thigh, don't just kick it out. You'll feel the difference when you lift from the muscle instead of just momentum. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Rest it out. We're gonna do that again. I want fatigue on this leg too because you're putting all your body weight on that leg. So you're really working both. Okay, ready? Soft left knee, draw the belly button, contract those abs, pull out, pull out. This time we're gonna do a pulse with it, okay? Because it makes it more fun. Give me four, pull, pull, three, pull it out, come on, be a beast, beast mode. Two more, one more, now pulse, eight, seven, six, Five, don't use your back, use your glutes. Three, two, and one. Oh, jello legs. Ready? Yeah, we're gonna do it again. We want a lot of fatigue. Okay, but if you feel like you're gonna buckle, do this in the chair. You can do it in a chair. You just kick out with your, uh, your foot um, with knees bent. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes, go out and in. Out, always have resistance. The chair's moving. <laughs> Give me six more. Oh, five, pull away, squeeze that butt. Don't use the back. Don't arch the back. Draw that belly button in. Two more. One more. Now pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, other side is jealous. You're gonna have like one Popeye leg if we don't do the other side. So let's do the other side. So you're gonna put that left foot on the right foot, or sorry, right foot on, left foot off. So you're really squeezing that right glute, okay? For the stance leg, bend this knee. Out and in, out and in. Draw the belly button in, squeeze those glutes. It's so important that you're squeezing your butt cheeks. Squeeze those butt cheeks, they help your back. Oh, it feels so good, right? Give me four more, four, three, two, are we all good? One, bring it in, relax it out. We're gonna do that pulse on the next two, all right? Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze those glutes, go for it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, get ready for that pulse in three, two, one, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Woo! Shake, 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 shake. You should feel that burn. If you feel it in the knee, then either come back, make sure you're not arching your back, or bend that knee a little bit more, or don't pull out as much, okay? So again, draw the belly button in, squeeze the glute, third set, bring it out. You should really feel that fatigue. Six, five, don't hold your breath. Draw the belly button in a little bit more. Four, pull out, nice and slow. Three, two, make sure you're not going back or forward. One, and pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> shake, shake, shake. So you should have got some fatigue here. If not, then you uh, pull out a little bit more next time. All right. So we are gonna do this. We're gonna do a donkey kick and we're, we're right at where we should be. Now you're facing and you're gonna donkey kick. So you're here, maybe it's here. Yeah, it's here. Draw the belly button and contract those abs, squeeze those glutes and pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. You can also do this without, and it'll look like this. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the glute, squeeze the glute. You're lifting that heel to the ceiling, right? So give me six, five, squeeze the butt, four, three, two, one, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out. So if you felt that here, don't use the band. And then um, concentrate on squeezing the glute because this is actually a glute exercise. If you can't feel it, because that glute is atrophied, right? Let's do it again. Draw the belly button in, squeeze that right glute. Squeeze and lift. It's a small movement. Squeeze and lift. Pull that heel up towards the ceiling. Don't pull with your hammy. Pull with your heel and your glute. Give me four. It's a small movement. Three, two, pull up, pull up. One and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax it out. All right, we're only gonna do two sets of that one. So switch legs. I'm gonna switch it so you can see me. I'm switching. Switch legs, draw the belly button in. Contract the abs, you really gotta set up for this one. And pull up, pull up. It's a small movement, but boy, do you feel it in that glute. Squeeze, watch the back. If you've got L4, L5 issues, you gotta be really careful with this one. Or SI joint issues, this is good for you, but you just gotta be careful. Four more. Four, three, squeeze that butt. Two, think about the glutes. One, and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Relax it out. So again, with or without the band, if you're without the band, you're kicking a little bit higher to activate that glute, right? Um, in fact, I'll show you without the band. Draw the belly button in, contract those abs, squeeze the glute and lift for eight, seven. See how much higher I am? Six, without the band. Four, don't arch that back, I'm keeping my back nice and flat. Two more. One more, now pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Oh, there we go. We do not need this band anymore, do we? No, we don't. We don't need the band anymore. Shake it off. Guess what? We are stretching. For the rest of the class, it's a 50-50, right? So you're gonna go in the chair and you're gonna sit. 
Open up that chest and roll those shoulders. Um, the only thing we're gonna need is a, um, a uh, Pilates strap for the rest of these. We're not gonna use it completely, but uh, we do need this. All right, so if you're in a nice chair or you're standing, you can stand too, it's up to you, but some of them I do want you to sit. Um, you're gonna roll those shoulders and you're gonna start to go side to side with the neck. So you can do the standing if you want, it's up to you. Side to side. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm going to tip this just a tip. There we go. All right, now take that chin and bring it towards your chest, okay? Come off your tailbone. I forgot to tell you that. Come off that tailbone onto your sits bones. That's the bony part of your butt. And then keep that chin tucked down and then roll it side to side, keeping that chin like you have a tennis ball under your chin and you don't want it to fall. That's your visual. And go nice and slow. I can't see anybody, but hopefully you're doing um, it nice and slow. Good, because we're, we're actually gonna go around this time, so. All right, so now you're in the center and you're gonna go side to side. So that chin is gonna stay at an even position the whole time, side to side. There you go. So keep that neck or shoulders even. Nice. Give me one more and then go back to center. Now you're gonna look side to side. So nice and slow, don't go fast. Side, look behind you. You're off your uh, tailbone, right? Look behind you. Look behind you. All right, now you're gonna scratch your back. So scratch your back. Bring it down. 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 All right. So now we're going to bring our ear towards our shoulder and reach to the floor towards the floor. Bring it in. Reach to the floor. Bring it in. Watch those shoulders. You don't want to tip those shoulders. You just kind of reach in. All right. Same side, right? Reach to the floor. Now you're going to look at the floor. Reach. Don't let those shoulders drop. Reach. You're stretching that neck. So don't let those shoulders drop. Oh, well, they're going to drop a little bit, right? But don't go like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right, last one. Now opposite. So now you're, you're looking, but you're reaching with the opposite. Reach towards the floor. Pull towards that floor. You want to pull, pull, pull. And then back to center. Now you're looking to the other side and you're pulling. Pull, pull, pull. Like you're reaching for something on that side, but you're looking on the opposite. Again, go. Reach, 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 reach. Pull away. You're pulling away. Back to center, reach, reach, reach. All right, if you're on the chair, now you're gonna grab that chair, you're gonna take that ear towards the shoulder, and you're gonna lift this ear up towards the ceiling. Pull, pull, pull. You're actually pulling on this chair, or uh, the couch, or whatever you got. If you don't have anything to grab onto, that's okay. Just kind of pull away from the shoulder. This ear is going up towards the ceiling. So you wanna create space right through here. All right, relax it out. Woo! I hope you felt that one, cause I primed you. We went through those, all those steps just for that. All right, bring that ear towards your shoulder. Bring this one up towards the ceiling. 
Stretch, pull, 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 pull. Oh, do you feel that go all the way up? Well, <laughs> just say nothing, you wait. Okay, go back to center. Now you're gonna tip your head back a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's gonna feel so different. Okay, so ear towards your shoulder. Now tilt back a little bit. Oh, holy guacamole, you feel that? That is like a little slice of pie right here. All right, relax it out. <laughs> now I want pie. <laughs> I'm always thinking food in these classes. <laughs> Bring your ear towards your shoulder. Bring this one up and then tilt it back a little bit. Now, if any of this stuff hurts and it's not relieving, then you're going too far. But tilt back a little bit, tilt that head so your nose is kind of coming up towards that ceiling and you're pulling away from the shoulder and your arm is like pulling, and oh my God, it's just opening up all this. Woo. Do you feel that? Do you feel like your neck just like, you're taller all of a sudden? Okay, roll those shoulders. Is that just me? Am I weird? Roll those shoulders. Now I want strawberry rhubarb pie. Oh, that sounds so good. That's such a summer pie, right? Ah. Oh, I swear, someone's gotta be growing strawberry rhubarb, right? All right, single and single and single and single. Ooh. I got strawberries in my garden, but my bunnies eat them. So yeah, I don't even have the strawberry part. Last one. <laughs> okay, shake it out. So we did all this area. We're gonna move to the shoulders. I've done this one before. It's simple, but it's very effective. Bring that over and across. Ooh, shake those fingers. So from the fingertips to the shoulder, you're stretching this. And maybe you don't feel any tightness, that's fine, because that just means you're not tight there. That's great. Make sure your back is supported or you're on your sits bones, okay? Be careful if you have rotator cuff, because we're going up, and this can be problematic. So be careful, right? If this is too much for you, Modify, don't bring that elbow up. And you're not pulling, you're gently, gentle, gentle, like kind of bringing it up towards the ceiling. That's the feeling that you want. Find that stretch. All right, keep it there. Bring it down and reach. Woo! All right, you're slowly gonna hinge forward. Bring it like you're um, still kind of by your ear, but you're reaching, 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 reaching. Now come in a little bit and then reach a little bit more forward, but you're still on an angle. Go your range of motion. And then come in, bring that elbow down nice and safe, nice and safe, and bring it in. Ooh, there we go. We're going to do the other side. All right. So um, you're gonna make a T and then cross that T. There you go, see? I know, it's, it looks more complicated than it is. But if you're in a pretzel right now, sorry. You're on your own, I can't help you. No one can. Pick <laughs> it up, chat me later and I'll tell you how to untangle yourself. <laughs> Um, make sure that that elbow, you're not pulling on it, right? It's gentle, gentle, gentle. Stretching is super important. Remember, stretch, stretch, stretch. It's so important. Taking that breath, inhale and exhale. Very good. All right, very slowly, bring it down. And then you're gonna reach, reach, reach. So you wanna feel that stretch all through your side, right? So you go as deep into it as you need to. And then take a breath, bring it up, and then reach. 
So you're getting a little forward there. Take a breath and then reach forward. So you're still on an angle, but you're reaching. Reach, 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 reach. So go as deep into it as you need to. Don't fall over, be careful. All right, relax it out. Roll those shoulders. All right, we're actually gonna do our hamstrings. Um, oh no, we gotta do our back first. So you're just gonna come down and go all the way into it. You can do this as many times as in a day as you can. Every time your animals stretch, whether you got a kitty or a doggy, um, I don't, I've never seen my fish stretch, but I'm sure they do. You got to stretch as if your cat or your dog is stretching, you stretch too. That will make a big difference. Roll off. If you feel some dizziness, take a second. There you go. Okay. So grab your Pilates strap. Did anyone see what I did with my body strap? <laughs> Under <Okay>. the chair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys were like, just look under your chair. <laughs> Bring it here. You're going to do the left foot first. Always be careful how you bring that foot up. You want to put it on like right through there. Don't put it here, your field calf only. Right here. Bring it forward. And then you're gonna hinge forward. So I'm gonna show you this way. You're gonna hinge forward because if you round your back, you're gonna get a back stretch. I want nice straight leg. And I want you to hinge forward. Relax that foot, don't flex that foot. Relax it, hinge, almost like you're arching your back, but you're not arching. It's just gonna feel like you're arching. And you want it all through here. So it's from the knee up. If your calf is real tight, you're gonna feel it in the calf. Woo, breathe through, breathe through, breathe through it. Nice, relax it out. We're gonna switch it. So now you're on the other foot, and you guys can be forward. I'm just showing you so that you got a good angle. All right, remember on your tail or um, off your tailbone onto your sits bones. You're on the edge of the chair. Hinge forward. Don't fall off. Nice flat back. So when you come, I hit myself on the. <laughs> um, so relax into it, breathe through it, breathe. Don't forget to breathe. It's so important because we're like, ah, no, relax. Exercise, you're, you're, you know, you're building muscle, hypertrophy, you know, you're, you're a little more tense. But when you are stretched, you're relaxing. You've got to allow those muscles to relax. All right, relax it out. Woo! Nicely done. All right, we're going to put this to the side. We're going to do one more in the chair, and then we're going to get on the floor if you want to, or you can stay in the chair. So cross it out. It's one of my favorites. I probably do this every, every stretch. I cannot not do this because it's so effective. Be careful of your knee. Maybe you need to be like this. If you can't get into that position, if that hip says, ah, uh -uh, go there, right? So you got lots of options. You're crossing with the legs straight out or here. You're off your tailbone and you're on the edge of the chair. Right there might be like, whoo, I can feel this right here, right? Or you need to hinge forward to feel it. So it's up to you, but you want a flat back. Don't arch or don't round it. You won't feel it here. It'll pull from the back, from the spine instead. So almost arch that back, like put the chest forward. And make sure you're not putting any pressure on the knee, never press on the knee. Because it, that's not where the stretch is, it's here. If you feel it in the knee, retract. Yes, 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 you feel it, oh, breathe through it, take a breath, bring it up, switch it out, nice and slow, recross. 
Both sides are not created equal. Oh, you feel that hip? You feel that knee? So relax it out. Maybe you need to be here. Okay, hinge if you want to. Hinge at the hip, flat back. Nice flat back. See, so my, oh, I feel that. See how my back is pretty flat? If I'm rounded, I'm not gonna feel, I can go all the way down. I'm not gonna feel it. As soon as I flatten my back, that pulls those, the piriformis and the psoas muscle. They're like deep butt muscles and they're, they're down deep in there. So the position of your spine makes a big difference, the position of your pelvis. All right, take a breath. You're like, Lisa, we don't need to know all this stuff. <laughs> Relax it out. Nice, nice. Now, grab your yoga mat. We're going to get on the floor. We got 10 minutes. We got this. We're going to get on the floor. How do we get on the floor safely? So you're here. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe you're here. Maybe you need to put your hand here if you don't have a chair, especially. And then you're here, and you're here, and you're down. We don't need the potty strap. You're not gonna get all the way down though. You're in a seated position. You are not gonna like me today. You're gonna love me instead. I'm gonna switch this. Uh, there we go. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so you're here. You can still see me. Um, you're here. Why? Okay, so this is the deal. Some people's knees do not do this. That's fine. You can be in the chair, you can be on the floor, you can put a pillow under you, you can raise your butt off the floor, whatever works. Knees are bent, maybe you're here. Whatever works, don't put pressure on those knees to where it feels painful, okay? But you're here and you're off your tailbone. Try and get off your tailbone as much as you can. You're trying to go straight. This might be a stretch right here. Great, stay there. If not, you're gonna come forward a little bit. So I don't want these too wide. So you're, you, I don't want the inside of the thighs too much. I want the back and the inside of the thighs. So um, there we go. You feel that? Just kind of press, press um, your chest forward till you feel a stretch on the back and the inside of those thighs. There we go. All right, so I wanted to hit, it's called the erector spidey. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I know I do, but I, I'm stuck saying it that way. So <laughs> um, we're gonna come up and this is, this goes along your spine and it's really hard to get, but this one does it. So you're gonna go up, over and to the side. And maybe you're like this, right? Whatever you need. Maybe you're tilted back and you're like this. But you want to feel that right along that spine, right through here. So you're stretching into it as much as you can. Keep that chest open. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath. Woo! Did you feel that go all along that spine? It's a little slice of heaven, I'm telling you, because it stretches that whole area. So do this again as much as you can. All right, bring it to the other side, take a breath, be very gentle with this one, bring it to the side. So maybe you're here, maybe you're here. So many options, maybe you're in the chair and you're just reaching up and over. We kind of did this. I primed you a little bit earlier for this one because it is an intense one. Relax it out. Take a breath. Roll it. Good job. All right, so we're gonna go forward. You're gonna bend one knee and you're gonna point and flex the straight leg. Give me four more. Come off the tailbone. Open it up. Two more. One more. Now you're going to tap this toe down. Tap it down and bring it up. Tap it down and bring it up. 
Tap it down and bring it up. Give me four, three, two, and one. Now, side to side, like windshield wiper, side to side. This is actually hip. So be careful, hip replacements, your range, but this one's really good for you. You've just gotta be gentle. So know your limits. Two more, if you feel the knee, then don't go so that, that big, right? Last one, and switch it out. So now we're here. We're gonna do this toe forward and back. Forward and back, there you go. Give me eight, seven, six, five. You're just going back and forth. Three, two, and one. Now toe down and up down and up is one side have more range possibly then you need to work this maybe you don't feel it bring it in a little bit more if that knee says it can or bring it out down and up last one actually out is harder i made a mistake because that was me one more and windshield wiper side to side side to side. Again, this is hip. You're opening and closing. Maybe the close is the pinching part. Don't close so much. Give me four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Bring it in. I'm going to go to the side so you can see me because this is odd. You're going to extend your left leg. You're going to cross your right leg. You're gonna take your right arm and press it on the inside of that leg, not the knee, the leg. So you're here, does that make sense? You're gonna open up that chest and you're gonna press up against that um, leg. So you're opening. You should feel this all through here. I had a lady in my class before, every time she did this, we could hear it go crack, 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 all the way up her back in a good way she was always very happy but that's it open that chest open that chest open 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 you're not twisting the spine no you're opening that chest four three two and one relax it out now you're going to go to the other side so you're going to take that other arm you're going to press it up against that leg now this is more a little bit more spine than chest open and make sure that you're opening where it feels good. Don't just twist the spine. You're opening up where it feels tight. So maybe in that hip a little bit more than the back. All right, take a breath, relax it out. You can go back on your tailbone, switch, and other leg. Okay, so now that other leg is there, you're gonna take that arm, you're gonna press it against that leg and you're gonna open, 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 open that chest. This one, you're opening that chest, pressing against that inner thigh. Open, open, open. You're off your tailbone and on your sits bones. Four, three, two, and one. Go back on that tailbone. Switch it out. Don't twist, right? It's not a twist of spine, it's opening. It's a whole new way to look at that stretch. Open, open, open. Press, like when I do this, I kind of press my tailbone or my um, sits bones into the floor on that right side. And that's where I feel it. You know, I feel it then come up the back. So it, it's just finding where your tightness is or where that arthritis issue is and try to stretch the area around it. It's not about twisting the spine. Ooh, that felt nice. Relax it out, bring it in, and let's do a butterfly. Woohoo! one of my favorites. Okay, if you are tight, this is gonna be a killer. So, you can do this in a chair. You can do this with like propped up, right? That helps tremendously. If this bothers your knees, you should not be in this position, okay? So be mindful of the knees. 
You might be able to do it, but the knee says no. Listen to the knee. Off the tailbone. If you've got music on, this is when you should have like light, soft music, relaxing, that kind of thing. Okay, so you're here. This is a great stretch. You're gonna bring your feet out a little bit. So I'm not pulling, I'm not putting any pressure on those knees, I'm not pulling, I'm just letting gravity go. So come into it, maybe if I don't feel it, I'm hinging forward, right? Did you feel how that changed it? Take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. You're gonna feel this where it's the tightest. Like on my left side, I feel it more on the left than I do the right because I'm tighter on the left. Um, so it just depends. Take a breath. You're gonna go out a little bit more. <laughs> this is fun. Ready? Hinge forward. See how that small little movement changed the stretch so much? Like, is that crazy? Can you tell I love stretching? <laughs> I just find the body to be so amazing. That, that little, a few inches forward is gonna change that stretch so much. It's phenomenal. And it feels so good. There you go. In a painful kind of way, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, relax it out. Come up. Now you're going to come all the way in. Woo! So if those knees are starting to bother you, come out a little bit. But you're going to go closer in pretty much where we started. And hinging at the hips. Nice flat back. Open up the the thighs are where you feel it, like the medial, inner hamstring, maybe your abductors a little, your adductors maybe on the outside a little bit, definitely on the inside. And you're not pressing on those knees, you're just hinging forward. Take a breath, relax it out, and slowly bring it in. Shake, shake, shake. You can go back on your tailbone, but be gentle with yourself. Bring it back. Crisscross if you want, it's up to you. Come off that tailbone. Open up that chest. Take a couple breaths here. Thank you. This was fun, a new location. <laughs> How'd that feel? Did you guys like it? Thank you, Lisa. Yes, good, good, good. Lorraine, Meg, Renee, Melody, Barbara, Susanna, Dawn. Oh, wait, do we have two Barbaras? We've got two Barbaras. That's kind of cool, Susan. And then I have a Samsung, and Ann. I got Ann, too. Samsung, <laughs> I don't think that's their real name. <laughs> it's Sam. 